Hello, my name is Stuart Whitten, Managing Director of Alba Diagnostics Limited. Today I'm going to talk to you about brake fluid and how to check the condition of brake fluid using a boiling point tester. Brake fluid is the most safety critical item in your car and if your brake fluid doesn't work correctly you could end up in serious trouble. Brake fluid is one of these items which is often forgotten or ignored by people. Everyone knows to change their oil in their antifreeze, but what about your brake fluid? Brake fluid also wears out and loses its effectiveness, and this can happen in as little as 18 months. That's why it's critical to have your brake fluid boiling point checked at every service. Brake fluid should be checked and changed every two years or 20,000 miles. This is a missed service opportunity if you're not offering this to your customers. Brake fluid is designed to have a high boiling point to withstand the temperatures generated by modern braking systems, especially in the wheel cylinders and drum brakes and disc brake calipers. It does this very well, but has one major drawback. Brake fluid is hygroscopic, which means it absorbs and retains water molecules from the first day it's put in the car's system. This absorbed moisture starts to reduce the boiling point of the brake fluid from day one. So how does the moisture get into the car system? The microscopic pores in the rubber brake hoses and the breather holes in most master cylinder reservoir caps allows moisture to enter the system. Only 3% moisture in your system, that's a thimble full, can reduce the boiling point of your fluid to a point where, under certain braking conditions, the moisture in the brake fluid can boil and vaporise. Unlike fluid, vapour is compressible, so the driver loses the brakes completely and the pedal goes straight to the floor with obvious consequences. This is known as vapour lock or phantom brake failure because when the brakes cool down again the vapour condenses back into liquid again and braking performance is restored until the next time, if you're lucky enough to have a next time. This can happen during prolonged braking or stop-start driving in town when the high heat generated by braking is transferred through the brake hardware to the fluid. In modern vehicles, the aerodynamics are now superb, but this means that there is now less airflow underneath the car to help cool the brake. The brake hardware is now smaller and lighter, and this means that there is more heat transfer through to the brake fluid. We also now have non asbestos brake pads, which means less heat dissipation away from the brake fluid. All of these issues mean that the problem is getting worse. That's why it's even more important to check the brake fluid regularly. I'm now going to demonstrate how easy it is to use a boiling point tester. Where possible, the test should always be done in the master cylinder reservoir on the car. Check the reservoir to ensure you can insert the probe by directly into the reservoir. In this case, it's fine. I'm just going to show you now how quickly it is to do a boiling point test. We've connected to the car battery, we're into the reservoir and we just press the control switch. As you can see it's now heating the fluid. As it's heating the fluid you'll see a series of blocks appear across the screen. It takes 30 seconds to do the test. When the blocks get to the end of the screen the actual boiling point will be displayed. In this case, it's saying the boiling point is 267 degrees C. In our opinion, anything over 200 degrees C, the brake fluid is okay. With this product, to ensure that you get the most accurate results, it's essential to make sure that the hole in the side of the probe is below the surface of the fluid when you're doing the test. It must be below the surface of the fluid. If you have a reservoir where you can't get the probe into the reservoir, we supply a test cup and a pipette with the unit. You can extract fluid directly from the reservoir, put it into the test cup, use the test cup then with the brake fluid tester to do the test. When the test is finished, pour the brake fluid back into the reservoir. If you have to change the brake fluid, how do you know which brake fluid to use? It is always indicated on the cap that's on the master cylinder reservoir. In this case, it's DOT4 that you must use if you have to change the fluid. 
That's how easy it is to do the test. It only takes a few minutes to complete. You should treat this as a profit opportunity. Offer a free test on every car that you get in the workshop. You won't only get the opportunity to change the brake fluid, but you can use it as a starting point to do a full check on the complete brake system. The brake fluid check can be free. It's the brake fluid change and diagnostic check that follows that can help you generate the extra service revenue. I'd like to thank you for taking the time today to watch our demonstration. Goodbye.